Mastering the Art of Ordering Decimals Hello learners! Welcome to our latest video. Today, we are going to focus on a topic that many of us often find tricky, ordering decimals with different number of decimal places. Don't worry, though, by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at this. Let's dive right in and demystify the art of ordering decimals. We've all come across decimals. They're numbers with a point that separates the whole number from the fractional part. But here's a fun fact. Not all decimals are created equal. Some have one digit after the decimal point, like 0.2, and some have more, like 0.25 or 0.235. These digits that come after the decimal point are called decimal places. When we try to order decimals, it can sometimes become confusing. That's mostly because we're not sure how to handle the different number of decimal places. For example, if you're asked to order 0 0.2, 0 0.25 and 0 0.235, where should 0 0.2 go? Don't worry, we are going to break this down and make it super easy. Step 1. Line up the decimals. This means you'll write the numbers in a way that the decimal points are all directly below each other. This makes it easier to compare the numbers. Step 2. Fill in the blanks. Here's a neat trick. If a number has fewer decimal places, just add zeros until they all have the same number of decimal places. So, 0 0.2 becomes 0 0.200. Now, it's easier to compare 0 0.200, 0 0.250, and 0 0.235. Step 3. Compare from left to right. Start comparing the numbers from left to right, just like reading a book. As soon as you find a digit that's smaller or larger, that's your cue. The best way to get comfortable with ordering decimals is practice, practice, and more practice. Try it with different numbers, and soon it'll be second nature. And there you have it, the art of ordering decimals with different number of decimal places demystified. Remember, the key is to line up the decimals, fill in the blanks, and compare from left to right. Happy practicing and we hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, keep learning.